Yaganti Caves, depicting the historical saga of Andhra Pradesh, many caves are spread all over the area of the state. Housing the rock cut statues, some of the caves date back to the oldest, oldest of centuries. Today, these natural caves are some of the exquisite tourist appeals of Andhra Pradesh. The past archives of Andhra Pradesh suggest that the caves were present in the place of a very old time. Yaganti expresses the charismatic splendor of nature, which has shaped the sources of the eternal beauty of Andhra Pradesh tourism. Found at the Yaganti Caves, the caves are a splendid assemblage of subterranean passageways evolved due to the various actions and reactions of nature over a considerable span of time. The main attraction of Yaganti Caves is visible in the form of Venkateshwara Cave, Sankara Cave, Rokala Cave, the brilliant eternal chambers and the natural cavities that exist in all these caves surely capture the imagination of visitors in no time. The traditional fables of Yaganti show that the caves were once the very place of Kalagnanam. The famous literary wonder scripted by Portaluri Vira Brahman has took a practical shape. Known as one of the great figures of Andhra Pradesh's literature world, Portuluri chose the quaint and calm place of the Yaganti Caves to work on one of his fabulous scripts. A major place of tourist appeal, Yaganti Caves receives a huge number of visitors a year. With individual historical past, the Yaganti Caves of Andhra Pradesh truly depict an encompassing heritage of Yaganti. Caves present around Yaganti Encompassing the Venkateshwara Cave, Sankara Cave and Rokala Cave, the Yaganti Caves of Andhra Pradesh represents a beautiful conglomeration of pristine natural subterranean channels. Venkateshwara Cave Sage Agastya wanted to build a temple for Lord Venkateshwara. However, the statue that was made could not be installed as the toenail of the deity got broken. Augustia was upset over this and he performed a penance for Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva replied that the place suits Shiva better than as the hills resemble Kailasha. The de damaged idol of Lord Venkateshwara is present in this cave. According to the story, this idol was present in the cave before the Thirumala Venkateshwara temple was constructed. But as the idol is damaged near the foot, it could not be worshipped. Sri Portuluri Veera Brahmamendra Swami, the Indian prophecy, tells us that his Kala Jnanam, that this place can stand an alternative to Tirupati.
Vira Brahmanam Cave, Sankara Cave. This is the cave where the Saint Sri Potaluri Vira Brahmamendra Swami wrote some of his Kalagnyam prophecy. The height of the cave is less and one needs to bend half over it to enter. He predicted many events of different timelines which came with accuracy. Rokhala Cave, Agastya Cave. While traveling in South India, Sage Agastya came across this place. This is where the cave where Agastya performed his penance for Shiva. One can enter the cave by climbing 120 steep steps. There is a Shivalinga in the top of the cave which is believed to be installed by Sage Agastya for his meditation. The path to this cave also provides a panoramic view of the temple complex and surrounding hills. The steps are very steep and kids and elders have to be very careful, especially while climbing down the cave. <laughs> 